What's up everybody, it's your boy Duty back again with another video. This time I am taking a look at our boy DSP late night stream of academia, school, whatever that boring game is. And checking out our boy DSP and see how he is coping with the realization that he may eat a suspension or a ban on his channel. And our boy Phil is not doing well. He decided to essentially do a PSA for his den heads and talk about what may be happening to his channel and his alternative plans for streaming somewhere else. So let's get into the video. By the way, our boy Phil has a lovely habit of claiming he never does anything wrong. Right after this video, I'm going to take a few minutes to show you exactly what our boy Phil has done wrong. And, uh, you know, he'll never... He'll never address it or never say anything about it or, you know, uh, comment on it. But I got a boy Phil's number. So let's get into it. Here's something that I want to say up front. And I am going to be saying this uh, over the course of this week. Okay. I just want you guys to understand something up front before we get started with a nice chill stream tonight. All right. I appreciate your guys' support. And I appreciate you coming out and chilling with me no matter what I'm doing here on YouTube, okay? Uh, it came to my attention that over the course of this weekend, sadly, a group of my trolls, haters, detractors, whatever the hell you want to call them, have decided to make it a concerted effort to attack DSP Gaming as a whole, meaning everything about this channel, whether it's false copyright strikes, you know, other attempts to take down content that I do on this channel and things like this. They're posting about it. They're talking about it publicly that they're doing this concerted effort. Apparently, they're really upset that I reacted to this is how you don't play back on Saturday. Okay, they're very upset. They just can't take it, all right? So, <clears throat> just so you know, this is going on right now, all right? I have absolutely no idea if it will negatively affect the channel or not. I can tell you as of now, so far, the answer is no. Thank That's a lie. It did. You got one community strike violation on your channel currently. And the one video that was taken down has been posted, but with a mature uh, flag on it. But you still ate that community strike. So one more and you're definitely eating the suspension. Thank goodness. But at any moment, you don't know what's going to happen. You know, sadly with YouTube, a lot of the stuff on this website is automated. And so you never know if YouTube is going to blanket grant a false claim, uh, a false strike. You know what I'm saying? And then a lot of the times with YouTube, they leave it. They leave the burden on the content creator to clean up the mistake. You know what I'm saying? So in real life, someone can't just point to you at you on the street and say, oh, that person just robbed my house and a cop just immediately arrests you with no evidence. That doesn't happen. <laughs> you see, <clears throat> on YouTube, that's exactly what it is. Sometimes someone will say, that person stole my video or that person said something nasty in a video. And YouTube will just go, zoop, you immediately get the negative consequence. And now it's on you to try to prove your innocence, even though you didn't do anything wrong. From a man that has been known to channel strike channels just because they were critical of him. And yes, Phil, we know that you've filed copyright strikes against channels. We know we've seen the emails. We've seen the evidence. We know it's you, right? You have the gall and the nerve to try to sit on your high horse and basically criticize anyone that may submit a report against you. Now, mind you, no one is filing any copy strikes against you. What they're filing are reports of your inappropriate comments and your hateful slurs on your video, which isn't a, which isn't a copyright strike. What that is, is it's a community terms of service strike. So there's a big difference there, pimp, and you need to learn the difference. Okay, good news is, I can tell you this, since I came back to YouTube full-time in May of last year, I really haven't had any issues like this. And you would think that my haters, my trolls, my detractors, whatever it is you want to call them, likely have tried this a lot in the last year and a half that I've been here, right? There's no way that they just like, ah, we'll just give them a pass. No, they've probably tried it and nothing has happened, okay? So, I would like to sit here and be confident and be like, oh yeah, don't worry, nothing's going to happen, we can just be, you know business as usual but sadly it might all right if anything ever happens to dsp gaming 
there's many avenues that I will take to try to notify you of what happened and what we're going to do next. Because I'm not giving up. I'm not going to stop making content on the internet. That's ridiculous. Yes, anything but actually get a real job there, Phil. Okay. Basically, let me put, tell you this. I have a series of backup plans in place that we can use if something were to ever go wrong. There's nothing secretive. You can everybody knows what it is. You either stream on KO Gaming, which will be a ban evasion, which is, which is uh, against TOS, or you'll go to Twitch and stream for tips. Nothing, nothing uh, grand or complex to that. Everyone knows exactly what your plan is. Okay. What I'm the reason I'm saying this is I don't know. Let's say for example someone gets a false strike against my channel for whatever reason, I might lose the ability to broadcast a stream. I might lose the ability to upload a video, even though I did nothing wrong. All right? So obviously, I don't want to lose that, and then I can't have content for you guys every day. I mean, this is my job. I need to be able to do this, right? So you can't just take extended time off of work because of nonsense. So, number one, if a stream ever just goes down in the middle of the stream, with something that I can't immediately remedy, I'll likely tweet about it on Twitter at they call me DSP. all right? If there's something that I can post up on a community post on YouTube, I will. But a lot of the times, maybe my internet went out or something, in which case, how am I going to do that? You know, I can easily post on Twitter if I just jump on satellite internet, but actually doing other things on YouTube is very difficult on a mobile device. So your go-to place to find out what's going on is go to my Twitter, at they call me DSP. Now, let's say, for example, I lost my ability to stream, but I could still upload. Then I'd likely make a video and upload it and say, hey guys, here's what's going on, let me explain. But I might not have that capability. Same thing with community posts. <clears throat> I've heard that dependent on the level of infraction that you can get hit with on YouTube can actually take away your ability to community post, which would suck if I can't communicate with you guys that way, but it is what it is, okay? <clears throat> so. Okay, what he's just saying right now actually lends me to think that he's reached out and he actually knows what's going on as it relates to possible suspensions and bans. So it sounds like essentially someone told him if he gets another report and it goes through, that's going to be strike community strike two, which means a suspension. Uh, so it sounds like he's kind of prepping uh, his den heads to say, hey, this might be coming. Uh, be prepared to move to plan B, which of course is either KO gaming, which would be a ban evasion, or it would be Twitch. More than likely it would be Twitch. And he would ex just essentially stream there for tips. And of course he would bump his tip goals from $150 per stream to probably about 300 you know to account for his uh revenue that he lost if anything ever if ever anything were to happen go to my twitter at they call me dsp there i will post up instructions whether it's oh i'm going to stream here or i'm going to do something here i'll let you know and likely what would end up happening is we'd probably do some some alternative content for a short period of time until I could get control over the situation, whatever it may be. Because again, these things are very different. If it's a copyright issue, if it's another issue, they could all be handled very differently, you see? But rest assured, <clears throat> I'm not violating any copyrights. I'm not doing anything wrong for YouTube's terms of service. I'm in the right. If anything ever happens, I'll have to get it cleared up, but I will get it cleared up. There's never been a single instance in the 14 years I've used YouTube that I wasn't able to get bullshit cleared up. Uh, just remember right after this video, I will show you all of the things that Phil has never done wrong. Okay, so at least we have that level of confidence, right? <clears throat> okay. So, there you go. Or right, I just wanted to throw that out there. I talked about it on the on the uh, podcast earlier today, but I just want to let it be known. Yeah, these, these guys are actively now trying to hurt this channel and hurt my business because they're so upset about this is how you don't play over the weekend. Really, they just can't get over it. So, it is what it is. Right now, so far, things are fine. Okay? All right, we're going to get started. Um, it's already 7.15, so I want to jump into the game. Again, you know, any support tonight is greatly appreciated. You guys know the deals that I have tip goals of $50, 100 and 150 and you get different rewards for each level. You know that I'll give you a shout-out if you contribute in any way. You know the deal, right? I feel all right, then, heads, be prepared that that tip goal is going to go from 150 to 300 per stream. So, all right, let me line up what it was I wanted to show you guys. And let me put a little bit of music, background music, capture. Okay. 
So, as many of you guys know, I've talked about this before, and if you are any part of the DSP, uh, the tracking community, you know about it. This is called Pick Pick Go. It's simply a website. It's a search engine where you can type in any single word or phrase, right? And even put a start date and end date, whatever you want. It's very robust. And what it does is it finds any single video that DSP has ever posted on YouTube with that phrase, of course, okay? So you can put in any phrase. You can put in a uh, nice positive word, or you can put in some very hateful slurs that our boy DSP has probably said. So I'm gonna put one in here. Uh, it's one that I know that our boy Phil has used many times. And this is considered an Asian slur, okay? So as you can see, just that word right there, you see it, right? Which is very, very offensive. We find six videos, six videos with him using that term, okay? Then let's put in another slur that we are aware of that uh, impacts a certain group. Uh, there are seven videos with that word in it. Okay. And then let's try a different variation of it. Wow, this specific variation has a hundred and one uh, terms. Wow, look at that. Uh, yeah, this isn't great, Pimp. I, and I know some of this isn't him saying it. Some of it is maybe the game saying it. But I went through these earlier. I probably looked at about 40 of them and yeah, a big chunk of these are actually Phil saying it and Phil saying it in a very derogatory way. Uh, there is another term, but I don't want to type it in. Uh, it's essentially a slur for a, a gay person. Um, and that one has tons of videos. So essentially just those three phases alone uh, I got up to, I think, 271 potential videos that can be reported for violating YouTube's terms of service. Now, I know our boy Phil might lean on, oh, well, these are old videos and, you know, it was a different time back then. Now, nah, Pimp, it doesn't work that way. YouTube's terms of service are there for, so essentially, if you're a content creator and you have videos that you've posted and they're public on your channel for anyone to see on YouTube, they must follow YouTube's terms of service, no matter if the terms of service were in 20 years ago or whether they were written yesterday. Your videos need to follow those guidelines. And right now in this climate, those specific videos, those 200 or so videos, just for those three terms, do not fall within YouTube's terms of service. So Phil, if you're watching this, I think you should take a couple days, maybe not stream and do some cleanup of your channel because i think you have some videos in there that are very inappropriate that do fall outside of youtube's terms of service and these are the specific ones that i know people are looking at and reporting so you may eat another community strike for these inappropriate videos so anyway i just wanted to show you guys you know how phil does nothing wrong and phil never says anything appropriate and all his videos uh meet youtube's terms of service all right people hope you liked the video peace out